It's Bonza. Gentlemen. Fine, I was trying something and it didn't work. It's an all new demographic for me to conquer. Lace up your dancing shoes because it's time to catch this disco bastard. Brooklyn, Brooklyn! <laughs> What's up everyone, Adam from FWCI, this is Brooklyn Nine-Nine Season 6, Episode 8, He Said, She Said. I uh, have no idea what this one's going to be about. I mean, Brooklyn, the, the titles never really tell me much, uh, unless there's something about bandits in there, in which case I'm all over it. But I am excited about watching the rest of this season, it, it's been really strong so far, and should we, we're kind of due for a Halloween episode, aren't we? I feel like they usually come in around the beginning of the season, so I'm kind of holding my breath for that one there. But if you want early access to this, go to patreon.com slash fwci, that's where you can get it for five dollar dues to all my Patreon people. Hello, how are you going? You know what I'm talking about. Five dollar dues a month is all it costs to get early access to Brooklyn and movies and a whole bunch of other stuff. So that's where you can support the channel. Make sure you subscribe here on YouTube as well. But let's jump into the episode. For the love of God, this is season six, episode eight. He said, she said. Methodist Hospital called this morning. Apparently a 38-year-old investment banker was admitted last night with a broken penis. It looked... <laughs> The broken dong. Uh, me think some Wolf of Wall Street style shenanigans have taken place this day. <laughs> was he struck by a goose? He was actually struck by a female co worker who claims he attempted to sexually assault her. <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> In fact, you know what? This isn't your week. Why don't you take a few days off? Sweet. <laughs> have fun working, cucks. <laughs> oh, God. Santiago and Peralta, talk to both parties. Get to the bottom of this. Well, okay, they're going to team up on a case? Interesting. As a society can no longer laugh at the phrase broken penis, and it is my dream that we one day shall again. Team Broken Penis on three. One, two, three! Broken penis! Yeah, I probably should have seen that coming. <laughs> yeah, I was not jumping on that one. <laughs> All right, uh, Peralta, Santiago teaming up together. This is gonna be fun. I like Santiago and Peralta's relationship. It's not dysfunctional, it seems quite healthy. Uh, but I'm guessing they're probably going to get on each other's nerves on this case. Catherine Bigelow should direct the next Star Wars. I've said that out loud. Two other men. Thank you, Mr. Haggerty. We'll be in touch. Great, thanks. Come on, stand up. Oh, this episode sounds like it's going to get rough. All this on the week that I watched Cape Fear. Whew. I hunted him for years and finally caught him and put an end to his bloodlust. <laughs> In some sick way, I am who I am because of Ernest Zumowski, a.k.a. The, the Disco, Disco Strangler. The Disco Strangler? Really? You know, the yo-yo was his calling card. Yeah, I was going to say, he had a yo-yo, didn't he? <laughs> Man, and he got in a terrible accident. It burst into flames and he was trapped inside. <laughs> that sounds like an escape job to me. Died horribly? Escaped. Yeah. All right, lace up your dancing shoes because it's time to catch this disco bastard. Holt versus the Disco Strangler Part 2? I'm here for this. Disco arbitrage, and ever since we've been at a steady 18% yield. I didn't know most of those words, but I'm assuming it means you're good at business. I am good. <laughs> I agree with you completely, Peralta. It's my dream to have a gold coin pool. Like Scrooge McD, continue. Look, I love my <laughs> Scrooge McD. Oh, DuckTales is pretty good, though. He had many steps left in him, sir. Take a look. Oh, he looks fragile and sweet. Sweet as poison pie. <laughs> Dirty little string? Oh, it's not just any old string. It's a yo-yo string. Yo -yo the most string. dangerous yeah, part the of the yo-yo. The strangler wanted me to find this. He's out there, and he's taunting me. I'm 100% on Holt's side in this. I, I think he's still out there. Firm just offered me $2.5 million if I sign an NDA and let this slide. Oh, okay. This is a he said, she said situation. I know how that goes down. No one's going to convict him. Uh, okay, I understand what this is now. Don't sign that NDA right now. Give us a chance to bring this guy to justice. And how are you going to do that? By working our asses off to find proof that he assaulted you. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. All right. This is where, what's interesting about this is the victim there, that lady, very, um unvictim like in terms of how the the show is presenting her like she seems very 
you know, on top of everything, you know? Everything is for us. It's just an interesting take on that whole situation. Oh, sick. Have a great day. Oh, thanks, you too. Mm -hmm. You have a beautiful mouth. Have a great day. Ugh, that's gross. Fruit seller guy on our corner, is he a creep? No, he's a real gentleman, which is surprising because he's always holding those two cantaloupes and the opportunity to be gross is right there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry that this is something you have to go through all the time. It's okay. I'm used to it. That's even sadder. I know. That's true. I agree with that. That is really sad. Any physical evidence to prove that he did it? No. So it sounds like he might go free anyway. I mean, at least oh, it shakes no, the deal, she won't walk away with nothing. I'm surprised you feel like that. You're such a feminist. She's a cop. Should I be here because men should be part of the conversation? Let's just say best case Jake. Trial where they drag her name through the mud. Even if she wins, she still loses. It's two steps forward, one step back. Yeah, but when one person comes forward, it inspires others to speak up. And that's a hell of a lot better than taking a deal oh, that lets sexual predators. Really, um, this is a very, very um, real argument and two very valid, you know, points of view here. This is this is deep. This is that um, other sides of Brooklyn that people were saying was a little bit more prominent in the later seasons. I'm guessing that's what we've got in this one here. The state police is deploying 30 men and four helicopters to comb the area of the accident. I felt comfortable saying... <laughs> Holt. <laughs> I'm still with you, Holt. I'm still with you. It was the van driver. You mean the woman who was thrown violently from the vehicle and just barely survived? Sorry if my voice is raspy. They just took the breathing tube out. Oh, Christ. <laughs> You helped him escape. You planted a cadaver in the back. You flipped the van on purpose. Then the strangler set it on fire and sprinkled some of his- This is a lot, Hope, but I'm still with you. You're lying. You've succumbed to his groovy voodoo. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this string is just a string. The DNA was really- a Man, I was with you, Holt. I was, I, I believed you. Fantastic news. Oh wait, Holt is having- like separation anxiety now from the case seth has never been inappropriate with me he's a really good guy honestly this is an extremely professional workplace uh, everybody's saying the exact same shit. this is an extremely professional workplace and seth is a really good guy hey <laughs> and then hush money that wasn't hush money that was a benevolent gesture to allow miss brennan to get the professional help she so clearly needs wow all right guys Santiago's not gonna do well with this. Just like Rosa said. Yeah, you, it's a fine line to advise somebody not to take a deal like that. This isn't just a case for me. When I was a rookie at the city. No. He said that he felt like he deserved something in return for my career. I just ran out of the restaurant, back to the office, and I put in my transfer for the 9-9. Because I felt like maybe I didn't actually deserve my promotion. And of all people to say that, Santiago is the hardest worker out of all of them. Oh, that's fucking, that's so shit. Where are you going? I'm gonna go get you a change of clothes and a coffee. We're not giving up. Hey, let's do this, Peralta. What if we reach out to all the co-workers again privately? Maybe they didn't talk to us because we interviewed them in their office. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, I think that's a really good idea. I'm gonna grab a comb, but you don't have to use it unless you decide. <laughs> good point, Peralta. My only nemesis now? Father Time. <laughs> you gonna fight Father Time now, Hulk? It's an aerial photograph from one of the helicopters I had deployed. Take a gander, boys. It's him, the Disco Strangler. Oh, it's, yes. I knew it along. I know him better than anyone. Yeah, you do, Holt. You're fucking right. I don't remember a Steve. Who's Steve? I am. Beefy. Beefer. I wanted to show you this text chain between Seth and some of the guys in the office. Oh, Beefer is making a play to move up? Beefer is a secret feminist. No, gross. I mean, it was the right thing to do for me. Huh? If they fire Seth, I take his job. Okay, well, we got what we need. Yeah, they're not surprised. Five foot eight hunched over, 93 pounds, with gray hair and blue gray skin. <laughs> blue gray skin. And power to take down one sweet looking old man. Oh, he's sweet, all right. Sweet as poison pie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and for God's sake, protect the neck. <laughs> 
Are they forcing you out because that's illegal? No, they're not. But the whole atmosphere here has changed. Everybody looks at me like I'm either a victim or a traitor. I mean, I'm not even... <sighs> yeah, yeah, that's true. I can understand that. And I'm really proud of myself that I didn't let him get away with that. So, even though it sucks, if I had to do it all again, I would. Especially the broken penis. Why'd she say that to me? <laughs> oh my god, there he is! What? Neither have you, Ernest! What? <laughs> she couldn't resist my groovy voodoo. <laughs> I'm never gonna die! Sure you won't. Whatever makes you feel better. Ah, oh, that sucks. What an anticlimactic end for Hull there. Victim shaming that suppresses any power shift in our masculophallic system. Huh? I couldn't sleep last night, so I watched a documentary on Netflix about feminism. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Carrie's co-worker. She came forward to report an assault because she was inspired by Carrie. Was this an assault from Bifa? You wanna take her statement together? You know it, sister. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. We can be different and still have the same cause. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, that was definitely an episode with a very serious uh, plot, and um, oh, it, that was rough. Here in Santiago, tell that story, because, I mean, you love Santiago. We know Santiago. She's a character that we've been with this entire, you know, six seasons of this show, and to hear that that kind of trauma is something that she's been carrying with her throughout this entire series... It's heartbreaking, and I, I know that these stories are legitimate, and there's these weird power struggle situations, and just like people abusing their position and stuff like that. It's a really, really fucked up situation, and you know, it's I, I don't know how the world gets better from this. I don't know how you convince um, like an entire population of people to smarten the fuck up. I mean, in Australia, we just had a um, referendum for. Uh, uh, indigenous people to be recognized as uh, like it's hard to explain but basically there's an advisory board for stuff that relates to indigenous aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people uh, in Australia in matters that affect them and um, it didn't get passed it, it got voted no and that uh, it kind of sucks at the moment like living in that energy so I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of in the right sort of headspace for this episode, to be completely honest, because it really is a, a, a day of a, a lot of, um, you know, helplessness, I guess, in terms of, you know, that that subject anyway with Indigenous Australians, so, and, and it's a huge deal at the moment. Captain Holt's story about the Disco Strangler, on the other hand, that was a great way to balance this episode from the heavy to something way more hilarious. And it was still kind of serious, I guess. Captain Holt had a bit of a, um, you know, learning moment in this episode when he finally got the bust and it just wasn't what he was wanting it to be. But seeing him get to relive his glory days was fantastic. Boyle and Terry being along for the ride was a lot of fun. Rosa only popped in a little bit here, but she was a great moral compass for Amy um, during the times of need throughout this uh, episode. Hitchcock getting um, thrown out at the beginning of the episode. Yeah, I understand <laughs> why that happened because that character is very much not appropriate for this episode at all. I, I think that character is way too gross at times and uh, I'm glad to see that the writers are aware of that when they're going to do an episode about a serious subject like this but very interesting episode let me know in the comments what you thought about this one I hope the comments don't get ugly but you know keep it civil agree to disagree if that's what it comes down to and uh, you know just be good to each other as Bill and Ted said be excellent to each other that's that's the, the mantra that we should all have when talking about this episode down in the comments, uh, patreon.com slash fwci if you want early access to this one. Don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube as well. I've got so much big plans coming for the end of this year and the beginning of next year. You, if you're not subscribed, make sure you do because uh, there's a lot happening on this channel moving forward. And we're just going to keep smashing through Brooklyn, Taskmaster, Taskmaster, because I'm watching the UK and the US uh, and the Australian version. Uh, a whole bunch of other stuff. Shits Creek is coming back very soon as well. Uh, uh, there's so much on, on the table. It's going to be a lot of fun. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace.